Here in Winchester, lives can be pretty busy. To maintain well-being, it can be necessary to learn how to balance one's lifestyle. I normally just wake up, go to uni, be, be in the library until like three-ish, then I go to the gym, and then I'm with my friends after that. Finding the perfect balance as a student can be quite difficult. With the pressures and demands of university and of social lives, this may seem impossible. One man here in Winchester believes he's found the answer. It's clear that being a student can put pressure on you, but it is key to have that balance within your life to live a healthy, happy lifestyle. I'm Adriana Jade Webb, Winchester News Online. Isn't it amazing and remarkable that an obscure vicar's daughter in a vicarage buried in the heart of Hampshire countryside should have become internationally recognised as one of the world's greatest writers. Jane Austen, Vicar's daughter turned famous writer. Jane Austen has had a remarkable effect on the world of literature with her renowned work. Two weeks ago, a book was launched in her honour at the Conco Club. Jane Austen's England, A Walking Guide, has had continuous success since its launch. Now, readers can hope to find an insight into Jane's life or learn more about her. This is Adriana Jade Webb, Winchester News Online. Good afternoon, my name is Adriana Jade Webb and these are your headlines at 12.30. Chancellor Philip Hammond has claimed that the government are on the verge of unblocking Brexit negotiations as a figure is being finalised over the divorce bill. Theresa May's key ministers met this morning to discuss the final details of the cost and the total figure, reported to be £38 billion. Conservative MP Robert Halfin is unhappy with this figure. CCTV is set to become mandatory in slaughterhouses across England. The legislation, which will be introduced in spring next year, will ensure that arbitrators across the country comply with strict animal welfare standards. British MPs are aiming to tackle loopholes in employment law, offering people working for firms like Deliveroo and Uber basic rights such as sick pay. The move comes after the government were told that it could offer the rights and earn more tax from the legislation. The committees believe that personnel should be classed as workers by default instead. With this year marking the 200th anniversary of Jane Austen's death, it is only fitting that a book be released in her honour. Jane Austen's England, A Walking Guide, was written by 85-year-old Anne-Marie Edwards. She takes a look back at the places Jane walked and visited, as well as what inspired some of Jane's writing. 